Spring arrives very early in California, and one of my favorite things to do during this period is to grab a morning cup of coffee, go in an orchard, and let my chickens out and let them just stretch their wings, graze and catch some bugs, and simply just stand by a fruit tree and smell the blossom and watch the bees do their thing. Lemons were bursting with blossom, yet there were very few bees around. So I wanted to find out what was going on and what the bees were up to. Sure enough, there was a little extra commotion around the beehive today. If you follow my YouTube channel, you might remember that we started this particular beehive with a small colony and it was a queenless colony, so we almost lost it. But apparently, since then, the colony has grown so much that it's now separating. So basically, this is a very good news because it means the colony is very healthy. So bottom line is, when the hive becomes too small, part of the bees and queen will leave to start a new colony elsewhere. This is the first step of their departure. Normally, about the half of the hive will regroup and reorganize itself in a swarm on a nearby tree or branch by the hive. The queen bee always goes with the new colony because she's leaving fresh eggs in an old colony, which worker bees will convert into a new queen. If you take a closer look, you're gonna see some of the bees giving instructions of a new location for the colony. A number of scouts will present a new location to the group. Group will carefully assess all the presentations and then decide on one particular location. And interestingly enough, they will all know and understand where that is. So when the colony leaves, they all leave in one direction. And as you can see, the queen bee or the mother bee awaits a side for the colony's decision. The queen bee or a mother bee usually does not fly. She lays the eggs and she takes a flight to mate and basically she stays dormant in a hive. However, when it's time to migrate, the worker bees will start pushing queen bee around just to make her exercise and get in shape for this particular flight. Spring is a perfect time for bees to swarm and migrate because nature offers extra nectar through all the bloom and blossom. This is also a time when you might notice that your hive is producing more drones than usual. Migration is carefully planned. And although I'm sad to see part of my hive leave, I feel very happy that my hive is strong and healthy enough so that bees and their colony can grow and spread. Thank you all so much for watching and for spending time with me. I so enjoy sharing these little updates and clips from my homestead in hope to inspire you and your family to incorporate more nature into your everyday life. My name is Vlada Vladik and I'm a founder of a charitable organization called Vlada Seeds of Life, whose mission is to reconnect families and communities over a healthy homemade meal and a quality family time. I am also a producer of a positive family program called Cooking and Kids, whose mission is to teach young families and kids how to grow their own food, how to cook, and how to gather around dining table. Please check out our other helpful YouTube videos. And if you like it, consider subscribing. We try to keep it real, simple, meaningful, and helpful. So I hope to see you on our YouTube channel. And once again, thank you very much for watching. For more information about my charity and our television program called Cooking and Kids, please visit vladavi.com.